Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome to another webinar with Leap. Um, it's your neighborhood friendly webinar voice, James. Um, excited to do another one of these. Honestly, you guys, we've had a couple partnership launch launch in the, in the last couple weeks. Um, and we're just keeping that steam going. We're really excited today to announce our partnership with AmeriFirst Finance. Uh, these guys are studs. We're really, 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 really pumped on what we've built together. Um, there's a lot of very cool loan products that they're offering. We're going to go into some of that over in detail today. I'm going to let everybody get a chance to uh, to join. Um, looks like there's still a couple people pouring in. Um, so we're going to give just a couple more minutes, FYI. In the meantime, we can talk a little bit about some housekeeping items. So first and foremost, all of you should have the whole Go to webinar control panel on the right hand side of your screen. Do us a favor. We're going to be using the question section to interact with you guys because this is like a listen only type webinar for many of you. Um, do us a favor. Get used to using that question section. Drop in where you guys are attending from today. Uh, as always, we're attending from our home office, which is kind of right in smack dab in between DC and Baltimore on the East Coast. Um, we've also got Mike Fredericks, who's joining from Chicago, and um, we're going to be rocking through this thing. Uh, so feel free, do us a favor, get used to that question section. This is where you're going to drop all your communication with us in there. We're going to be watching this thing throughout. There's a dedicated section at the end of this that uh, we're going to be doing some of the Q&A. But the good thing is, as we go through, we're going to be glancing at this section so that we get a good understanding of how we can cater this webinar to answer a lot of these as we go along. So don't be quiet about it. If you have something you want to ask, ask it. Don't sit in the corner. It's weird. So um, do us a favor. Again, drop in. We've got two people. Uh, Wayne, good to have you on, man. We got Dan from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Gorgeous down there. Got Don from Omaha. Don, you're the man. Thank you again for uh, all those wonderful things you said. Um, really great to have you as a, as a, as a user on our end. Got Columbus, Ohio. Thanks, Rachel. All right, we'll give everybody about one more minute and then we'll get this thing rocking. So, cool. All right, that was not a minute, but you know what? Let's do this. All right, so what we're also going to do before we get kicked off is Michelle, who's also here, she's our marketing manager at Leap, um, she's going to drop in a poll. All right, and what we want to do with you guys, and also this is really going to help us cater this, this webinar today, we want to know um, what you guys are currently using. So if you're using Amera first, put that in there. If you're using Leap, put that in there. If you're using both, put that in there as well. If you're totally lost and have no idea how the hell you got here, by all means, throw that in there. Let us know. Um, this really helps us understand, again, how we can start catering this really to make sure that the reason you showed up and took time out of your day is worth it. All right? We answer those questions. We get you those key pieces of information that you need. Uh, so, again, we're going to keep rocking through this thing. We'll leave it open for about another 30 seconds. We're at like 55% voted. Come on, people. It's Wednesday. It's not, it's not Monday. Ah, 64. There we go. All right. Keep going. 73. We got to get this thing to at least like 85 and then I'll shut up about it. 82. One more person. Come on. Make it happen. Make it happen. Leaving it open for another five seconds. Four. Please be that person. I'm gonna make it six seconds. All right. Forget you guys. I'm kidding. So, all right, that's good enough. We'll close that poll out. We got enough. Um, 80 plus. Thank you guys for filling that thing out. So, without further ado, let's get this thing kicked off. Again, we're super excited to have Amera first joining us today. They're a fantastic new partner, really pushing the boundaries for what we're doing, especially on our financing portal. So, very, very excited with this one, you guys. We, we, we've done a lot in the past, and this is one that's really got us nerded out. So, we've got Mike Fredericks on the call. Mike, feel free to say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. High five. Yeah. So Mike's a stud, you guys. He's got a long history in this that he's going to go into. 
Uh, he knows the home improvement industry like the back of his hand. Same thing with the financing as it relates to all of these. So he's been in your shoes. He's run a lot of these types of organizations. Again, it's very, very cool to have him on the call. He's got a lot of amazing information. So again, if you have questions, pick his brain. It's really nice to have on board. So first thing we're gonna do today when we cover this stuff is, number one, this is the agenda, all right? So we're gonna talk a little bit about the partnership itself, why we do it and who we partner with in general. I'll pass it over to Mike. Mike's gonna give you a little bit of history about himself, but also dive into all the really cool aspects of AmeriFirst, the programs that are offering, where they came from, their origin story, all of that good stuff. Again, those are the most important things that you guys need to understand is if I plan on using AmeriFirst within my business, what am I getting and why would I do it? All right. He's going to go through every bit of that. We'll then segue into the Leap integration. So understanding what is Leap and what does it do? A lot of you on this call already actively use Leap or you use Procell, which is the Owens Corning version um, of Leap. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll talk a little bit about it. The cool thing is the integration works on both platforms seamlessly. So we'll talk a little bit about what Leap does at a high level uh, and then give you guys a, a little snippet of how we built that lead or that, that integration with AmeriFirst. Talk to you about how that will function. And then from there, we'll talk next steps and go through a little bit of Q&A. Cool? Awesome. Moving on. So again, really pumped to be announcing the partnership today with the AmeriFirst teams. Very, very cool stuff coming this way. We got to ask ourselves a question though. How do we get here? Who do we partner with and why? And I say this on every single one of the partner announcements that we do. You guys, we get asked all the time to partner. We do. All the time. And the thing that we often do is we say no more than we say yes. And the reason being is if it doesn't add value to you guys as business owners, it's a waste of your time and therefore a waste of our time. So we wanna make sure that anyone we partner with is going to be nothing other than a value add for you, and they're gonna improve the quality of your business and the quality of the interaction with the homeowners that you guys serve. So again, that's who we partnership, that's why these guys are on the call today, all right? We then have to ask ourselves, okay, why the hell partner with a finance company? Granted, yeah, in-home sales, financing is a portion of that, but why would we ever partner with one of those companies? It's simple. All right, when you look at this, this is basically an illustrated drawing, or if you will, like a chart of your lead, your lead funnel. All right, so lead comes in through marketing sources. It's gonna get qualified in some way, shape, or form. That appointment's gonna be set, just some notes taken, blah, blah, blah. Pass that off to the sales team. They gotta do your estimate, get to the proposal, get to the contracts. They have to go through this financing piece, all right? Arguably, the scariest piece of that entire interaction. You can sell the dream, show photos, get people fired up, but the second you go, hey, how the hell are you gonna pay for this? That's when it becomes real. That's when it becomes terrifying for those homeowners. Whether they have the money or don't have the money, anytime you get asked how you're gonna pay for something, it always makes your heart skip a beat. Whether you're the richest person out there or whether you don't have a penny to your name, does the same exact thing to you psychologically. It's just built into us, it's an insecurity. So when we look at this in production and, and back into your marketing funnel, obviously that's, that's a given, but we have to talk again about the importance of this financing section, which is why that little red arrow is blinking right at it. All right, again, if you don't own every aspect of that lead funnel, you absolutely butcher your momentum. And when you talk about the importance of momentum in a sales process, Man, if they get five seconds to themselves or if there's dead air or there's some sort of lack of interactivity, guess what happens? They will go entertain themselves with something else that they have to do. The kids need a bath. I got to make dinner. Oh, it's late. My show's coming on. I don't really want you in my home anymore. I'm sick of you. Like all of those things can happen. Don't let them. Keep that person moving forward. Financing is arguably one of the most pivotal stages in that because that's where it becomes that real, real point of, uh, of sale. Again, beat the dead horse enough, let's keep rocking. So let's talk a little bit about AmeriFirst. Why did we partner with these guys? All right, first and foremost, they care about their customers. All right, it's not just you guys as business owners, it's also the customers that you serve. They are so hell-bent on providing that really good experience 
They go above and beyond. Mike can talk about this too. Like even things as far as like after hours are concerned. We know selling at the kitchen table, shoot, some of those things might go 10, 11 o'clock at night. All right. What happens if someone needs a manual approval? Most companies will be like, well, call us in the morning. These guys have some really cool stuff that Mike will talk about. The other piece of this too is we talk about their competitive products. All right. If you're not going to the table with the most competitive pricing, the best products, and the best financing options, guess what? You're gonna lose business. So these guys have some amazing products that they put together that put you at an advantage above anyone else that you're gonna be selling against. All right, the other piece of this too is they're focused on the long-term partnership. They don't care about a quick turn and burn. They want to get in, establish that relationship with you guys and grow together, all right? There's a lot of people out there who are just like, yeah, just get the loan, bye, you know, thanks for doing business. If you need me, uh, I'll see you at a trade show. Not these guys. It's really cool the way they interact and the positive experiences that we've heard from customers. Just can't say enough good things, all right? The other thing too is they push us to be better as a company. You know, they've gone through this integration and they've asked us, hey, what if we did this? What if we did that? Is there any way that we can go a little bit deeper here? They're asking a lot of these questions that are way outside of the norm and it's causing us to level up our game, which we love. And then most important than anything, you pair the two of these things and you're friggin' unstoppable. So again, I, I'm, I'm trying, not to, trying not to make Mike blush too much, but I think you can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm a little bit of an open book. Us as a co-organization, we are extremely excited about this partnership. So moving on, I'm gonna pass it over to Mike. All right, Mike's got a really cool story, you guys. I alluded to this a little bit, but this team really truly is, and you see in there, they are badasses. We love it. So they've got a tremendous amount of experience. Mike will allude to it, but Mike, this is that point in the conversation which I'm gonna shut my mouth. Let's hear about your story. Let's hear about how you got where you are today, and then we'll dive in and we'll talk a little bit more about AmeriFirst specifically. Okay, thank you very much, James. I really appreciate it. And that was a great introduction to this entire partnership. I think my favorite line was the dare to be great on the last slide. Um, if, if everybody on this call is not aware that the, the guy that developed this software was an in-the-home salesperson himself. And that really makes Leap stand out um, in the industry. Um, I, I've been in the industry now for almost 30 years. And you know, seeing a software uh, company put together a product such as this that is so um, advisor friendly in the home when you're sitting across from that customer to walk them through that sales process from beginning to end whether you've got seven steps 10 steps 11 steps and really uh, integrate everything that could possibly be beneficial to make it easier for the customer I mean the product was designed by a guy who had done this as his career I myself can can say the same thing um, you know about 30 years ago I started as a comfort advisor for Sears home improvements in the Baltimore and Washington area, where you are, Leap. Although I'm in Chicago now, that's where I, I cut my teeth. Hey <laughs> big big uh, Baltimore sports fan. But uh, yeah, I grew up running around uh, selling heating and air conditioning in the Baltimore, Washington area, and then you know moved up to district manager and, and regional manager, and then moved over to Service Master at the time. And, and Service Master owned American Residential Services in the heating and air conditioning business. And I spent three years with that team as well as developing my skill sets and becoming a national trainer, developing training programs, and trying to find better ways for our team to close more sales. And financing really became one of the most important things that, that I preached um, to all of my sales folks. Um, as my, uh, my career continued, I, I worked in executive capacities at Culligan International, the water treatment company. I worked on a global scale with them. I, I worked with uh, Empire Today Flooring, uh, and carpeting as their, their vice president of residential sales and and most recently was the vice president of sales for protection one security systems and home automation and it was only maybe about four or five years ago that um, I actually had the opportunity to perhaps take that kind of knowledge and bring it into the finance world and help finance companies develop products that are better stronger faster than what we had seen in the past and that, that timing worked out so well for everybody because that was the emergence of the service platform technology such as Leap. Um, so I came into the industry a little bit late, but with all of the ideas from the field, with all of these great different types of home improvement companies and how you can work as a partner with these service platforms to develop products and services for their, for their customers that will help increase sales, help close more sales, increase profitability top line, increase bottom line profits, 
Um, and and even more and, and uh, maybe even more importantly, you can actually improve your retention statistics of your valued employees. Everybody knows that turnover is a pain. It's very expensive. You got to train people. You got to hire them. You got to find them. You got to interview them. All of that stuff. Um, by using financing, I was able to on, on a service platform. I was able to reduce turnover by 22% in the first year of implementing a relationship such as that in my last role. So now being in the finance world, I had met our business, uh, our chief business development officer, who's also one of the owners of our company, uh, Wayne Crane, uh, several years ago at a trade show and really wanted to partner with Amerifirst on some programs that I thought would be really terrific for the in industry. Timing hadn't been great. Everybody was working on other projects and things were in queue. Uh, but as time went on, I kept that relationship uh, as strong as I could with Wayne, and he uh, he really admired that, the way that I followed up, kept up with him. And the opportunity arose at the beginning of this year to join Amerifirst, bring this knowledge on board, work with the service platforms, work with the OEMs and the distributors, and build something that would be just fantastic and game-changing for the home improvement industry. So that said, you know, I've been around a long time, guys. I hate to admit it by <laughs> my age, but... Um, I think what we have today is a better mousetrap, and I think you're going to find the best way to use it is through the Leap platform. But thanks for the introduction, James. I'd like to turn it back over to you if I could. Yeah, here, we'll keep rocking. So jump in and let's talk a little bit about Amerifirst now. Tell us, you know, you, 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 you obviously joined and have been working with them, came back to us, and you know, we, we've built the integration, but... Let's let's run through the next couple slides that are going to touch on Amerifirst as a business, what you guys offer, how you guys are going to make this an advantageous program also for our, our listeners today. It's terrific. Thank you. Um, you know, I, I don't know how many of you, and I can't see your hands raised if you recall, but the largest windows and door manufacturer in the country back in the, the 80s and 90s was a company called Pacesetter. And Pacesetter... Um, was at the very beginning of, you know, people starting to offer financing. And, you know, they weren't exactly pleased with the amount of uh, approvals that they were receiving. So they literally created Amerifirst about 40 years ago. And it was a captive finance company within the Paysetter organization. And when that company was finally sold to investors out of the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, they actually sliced off the Amerifirst part of the business um, and it went to become its own finance entity. So we've been around 40 plus years, which gives us tremendous advantages in the market. We are the oldest standalone home improvement financing company in the country that we are aware of, um, which means data, folks. We have more data on customers, approvals, how people's um, you know, payments and financing and credit history behave, which allows us to really take a good look at their, their ability to, to you know, be approved for a loan, um, that they're going to make good on their loans. Uh, which allows us to approve a lot more customers. So uh, we've got that background, we've got that data, and you know, with the three decades of originating and servicing consumer loans, we have decided that what is going to set us apart from everybody else is going to be the servicing. We pride ourselves on developing probably the best servicing of consumer loans process of any finance company in the home improvement space. And when I say that, I, I kind of don't want to sound like I'm bragging, but we have lots of other customers coming to us to do, I'm sorry, customers, other finance companies coming to us to service their consumer portfolios of home improvement loans. So there's many big companies out there that we not only service our own loans and we balance sheet our own loans instead of brokering and selling them off, but we pr provide that service for others because we are so much better at it than anybody else. So that's actually become its own separate business with our, our business. So, you know, home improvement, we do, you know, some elective medical, durable goods, second mortgages, HELOCs as well, but focused on home improvement, high, high percentage. Um, we have a very high touch origination and servicing strategy that uh, once you get to know us, you'll find that your customers that um, are currently unhappy with perhaps financing providers that you're using today um, will be pleasantly surprised. You'll get a lot less of those nuisance calls. Um, you'll have to re less, redirect them to their finance company and a lot fewer opportunities because we will be taking care of them. You won't even know what we're doing behind the, the scenes to make sure that that customer's happy and you'll get repeat business in the future. Our executive management team, love to brag about these guys. I've already talked about Wayne. Wayne's got this is his 40th year in financing. I mean, he's forgotten more than, than I will probably end up knowing. Um, he has been not just a great friend, but I have come to learn him as a great leader um, and somebody that really cares about this company 
and providing an experience that is special to our customers. But we also have our uh, president and chief operating officer, Don Cluthy, has over 35 years and almost, I think, every one of those years, if not every one of those years, uh, he started out with pace setter. So he's been with the Amerifirst from the beginning. Um, and, and he is down at our corporate headquarters and, and he runs things where we have our own call centers. We have our own people handling all of this. None of this is outsourced anywhere. Um, we are very self-sufficient. And then our CEO is, is headquartered in Reno, Nevada. Um, and all three of these gentlemen um, are principals of the company. So they have a vested interest in making sure that we provide not only the best servers, but the best products. And to date, we've already funded over $2.6 billion in consumer loans. So as you can see, we're not the new guy on the block. We're very, very experienced at what we do. And we're very, very proud to have this relationship with Leap starting today. Uh, so I think this is me again. <laughs> oh yeah, no. So the next couple of slides, we'll, we'll run through, but this, this again, it's, uh, you guys, I could back up dance on a lot of this stuff, but at the end of the day, the numbers speak for themselves. So, um, Mike, walk us through the next couple of slides are going to be really more about the programs that you offer and getting into a little bit more of the nitty gritty. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you take it because you're obviously the subject matter expert. And, you know, I like to hear myself talk. So that works out really well for me. But um, a lot of the questions everybody has at the beginning of a webinar on financing are, are these, these data points right here. So we wanted to cover them up front, give you kind of a flavor of what's to come on the next couple slides. But we are a primary service or a primary financing provider, but we do go down to 660 FICO scores. So some of the bigger players, you know, the Wells Fargo's and the synchronies, the banks in the industry, you know, don't go down nearly as far as we do. We find that we're very, very comparable um, to some of the smaller players in the home improvement financing industry. But we are currently working on actually improving that approval ratio down to even a lower score sometime, hopefully by the end of this year. Our maximum DTI or debt to income ratio for the consumers goes all the way up to 50%. So a lot of companies drop off 45 down to you know 40%, 35, you never know. Uh, we'll go as far as DTI with our customers, their debt to income ratio, and they will still be able to get approved for a, a Merifirst uh, financing uh, installment loan. Our minimum payment's $99. So if, uh, if we go out pretty far from a, a term perspective on how many months the loan is, the minimum payment that they would ever have to pay is $99 on a home improvement loan. Uh, we will finance down to $2,500 uh, for a project. So it could be a very, very small project for you, uh, but we also go all the way up to $80,000. So some of your larger projects we can handle, hopefully most of it, if not all of it. And, and this is one of my favorites. And one of the reasons why I couldn't wait to join Amerifirst is that we have a maximum loan term of 15 months. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, 15 months, 180 months, 15 years. I, I, that's a long time. So if, you, if you're in the house and you know anything about financing or you want to learn about financing, it's really about selling payment. You know, what fits into my budget? And if they have an idea of mine that I only want to spend $350 a month on, on this you know, window job, but you can go out 15 years on the cost, you, you, you most likely will be able to get them down into a range where maybe they could even add a couple windows. This 180 month term really helps our contractors that work with us um, with their add-on sales and up sales. So you'll find that your average ticket can increase substantially uh, by utilizing Amerifirst home improvement financing. And now- And I'll just say this, you guys too, uh, Mike, sorry to cut you off. Okay. As an FYI, you guys, we, we've hosted a webinar in the past about offering financing in the home. Even without something like this, this 180 month program, some of our customers just, and this is, this is, this is dealer agnostic and, and, and loan loan provider agnostic just offering financing in the home alone raised their average ticket by like 1600 bucks and on top of that they were also able to reduce their cancellations or basically up their retention by 13 full percentage points so when you look at that throw in 180 months on that and you're going to be talking about a hell of a lot probably a hell of a lot more of an increase <laughs> We, we believe so, and that's, and that's what our data indicates as well. And, and hopefully, everybody that's on the call right now is sitting down because this has been uh, one of the best things that we've done as a company to support our contractors that have larger ticket items, over $20,000 jobs. Being a contractor myself, I know it's painful when you have to buy the materials up front or you have to have the windows manufactured and shipped to you, and jobs can take months. 
but you've already paid the upfront money for the job and there's no guarantee the customer's not gonna try to back out. So from a cash flow perspective, Amerifirst has decided to pony up and we're gonna be offering staged funding through the LEAP program for your contractors, 50-50. If you have a job that's over $20,000, you can opt in for staged funding and we will pay you up to 50% of that job up front so you can get your materials, get everything together, get the job going. And then once the job is completed, you sign into our portal with, with your credentials and you can request the, the remaining uh, amount of the job at that time. But you know, as we talked about how consumer focused that we are as a company on making sure the experience with Amerifirst is the best in the industry, we wanted to find ways to make our contractors' lives easier. And some of the input that we got firsthand was it would really be great if we you could help us with cash flow issues because that's always tough, you know, keeping the gas in the trucks, keeping the rubber on the wheels, keeping, you know, all the tools in check, all the parts that we need in inventory. And then when we have to order forty thousand dollars worth of materials for an eighty thousand dollar job, you know, it's it's kind of rolling the dice. And uh Amerifirst wants to step up and we want to be that company that helps you with your cash flow. Now, the other thing that we thought about and what was important to me, because I've watched the evolution of this industry, as I mentioned, for 30 years now, and I used to have to do manual J heat load calculations on paper. Thank goodness I went to college for mechanical engineering. Never got to use it as an engineer, but it really helped as an HVAC sales guy. But I mean, we I've watched it from, you know, basically caveman days evolve into more automated ways to do it, technologies improving, and you know, it, all of that stuff has been fantastic. To, the, to we come to today, where you have products like Leap that can take a picture and do your measurements for you. It can, you know, check on you know anything that you need from a back office perspective and help you run your business. Well, we thought, you know, as a home improvement company as well as a finance company, we want to stay ahead of the technology pulse that's going through the home improvement verticals. So we've decided that we were gonna create one of the most easy to use, simple uh, mobile apps that you can use on your phone. You can get you know, applications filled out in a minute. You can have approvals and back in a minute, you know, in, in a two to five minute period of time, you, ha you can have your truck rolling down the road knowing that the job is scheduled you know, for tomorrow install. And we use things like interactive voice response technology, predictive dialing technology in our service department. Um, our servicing department also is capable of ACH and credit card payment processing for the customer. So you have all of that available to you right through Amerifirst and Leap. We use a cloud-based data system, so we're not bogged down um, with, with um, computers and, and, you know, just worrying about breakdowns and things like that. Everything is cloud-based. Our backup systems are redundant. Our credit re uh, bureau reporting, everything is full capture, four-year storage of all calls and texts. So from a technology perspective, we, we're trying to stay one step ahead of everybody else and making sure that we will be here at any time of day uh, when you need us. So you know, rest assured, that is one of our priorities as a company um, and as an executive team to make sure that you have the most advanced technology at your fingertips and so does our consumers. Totally, and I'll say this to you guys too, jumping in. I, I personally come from the finance background. Um, I, prior to coming into uh, into Leap, I was you know, I was working mostly with private equity firms, and one of the things that I did is I lived in India for a year, and I built a servicing center. Uh, the reality is, we had a lot of the technology piece of this, but we didn't have the people. And when you talk about the experience that your customer has, you also have to recognize that operationally, if they have a really crappy interaction with the servicing portion of their loan, that's going to come back and bite you in the ass not the servicing company. They're not going to go back and be like, oh my God, this servicing company, I'm going to give them two stars. Guess who cares? No one. But if they come back and give you two stars, that's money out of your pocket. That's food off your table. Now, that's one of those things that you have to keep in mind. Is depending on who uses a, you use as a lender for your organization, not only do you have to have the products to back it up, but you also have to have that experience that's going to directly reflect your brand. Again, these guys are going to be touching that loan, as you saw, for up to 15 years. So if that's the case, and that's 15 years of hell, you can better believe they're not going to recommend another 15 years of hell to the person who introduced them to that company. So again, Mike, not to piggyback too much, but this is one of the reasons why we're also really pumped about it. And me personally, I've seen the other side of it. I've built the other side of it. 
And while it was good, it's nowhere near as good as this. So again, kudos. Time for James to shut up again, and we're moving to the next slide. <laughs> so yes, we, we have our own teams. We're not outsourcing anybody. They're all sitting in our in our offices in Omaha, and they're taking care of everything. And I'd, I'd like to, to mention, since you, you brought up you know setting up these things yourselves, um, Although we want to be on the cutting edge of technology and one step ahead of everybody else, we have not lost track of the fact that we are one of the few that we do all of that stuff internally. We are really a hybrid of a fintech company, a finance tech company, but also still brick and mortar. Um, you know, we balance sheet our own loans. We don't sell those off, and, and you know, we we I don't know. We we simply don't want to be just somebody that's advanced in technology. We really pride ourselves on still keeping that person-to-person -person kind of relationship with our customers. And in doing so, a lot of our competitors have moved to an approval process that's completely automated electronically or by a computer. So the information on them that's able to be pulled out of their name, address, phone number, social security number, total household income, goes into an app similar to ours and it'll spit back an answer that was completely decided upon by a computer. In our instance, Although we have operating hours from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, when somebody submits a loan through the automated system after hours, say recently we had one after midnight Central Time, and it was very, very close to being approved, but the computer was recommending against us. When that happens, we have a system in place where one of our underwriters that works in our office will be notified via text to take a look at this manually. And they can determine, they can see, you know, anomalies, why this happened, why this one blip in the credit happened, and that probably would never happen again. It was a one in a million chance this happened. They can make a person-to-person -person determination on a person. And that loan actually got approved after midnight. So that was kind of cool. Our merchant services department, you know, provides, uh, what was it, a total servicing to the contractor for the contractor support, for any training, personal support that is needed. We have a full team of people. This stuff isn't just outsourced somewhere else that we have to rely on, but you know, our teams can support you as a company as well for billing questions, payment histories, payoff statements for customers, online assistance, warranty stuff, funding questions, the stage funding inquires. If you need help with the mobile app using it, you can call in. We can help you right on the spot while you're still in the customer's home. We do the second review of credit applications, like I mentioned, and we can do all of this with programs. And I'm, what, I'm not sure what the next slide is real quick. Can you give me a real quick blink at it, James? Uh, no, yeah, let me stop. Let's go Reporting. back. Reporting. Yeah, let's go back <laughs> one step. One thing I don't think that we mentioned, guys, is, you know, we mentioned the 180 months. We mentioned stage funding. But we also have 144 different programs for you as a company to choose from um, yeah, if, at, from a financing perspective. All different APRs, all different terms you know 48 months 60 months 180 months um you know we we've got you know different payment factors for the consumers but what you're most all thinking is what about merchant fees what do you charge me for these loans well as i mentioned very early on in this conversation it's an installment loan it's not a revolving product that would have um you know interchange charges of two or three percent like a credit card would so you can eliminate those right off the bat. There's zero charges for those. But within those 144 different programs to choose from, we offer zero merchant fee programs that you can choose. So if you want to offer a 120-month program at 9.9, or I should say 144-month at 9.9% APR to the consumer, you won't get charged a dime. So not only do you not get charged a merchant fee from your financing provider, you don't get charged an interchange fee uh, because it's a revolving product. It is an installment loan. So we are really proud of what we've been able to come up with from a serious advantage standpoint for the contractor and the home. You don't have to worry about that particular job, how much money you're going to lose on it. But let's say you're in a uh, um, an interest rate sensitive area. And this happens. You might be in an area where customers are like, well, I would never pay over you know 7% for this loan or 6.99% for this loan. We have programs available. You can select that one that might have a, you know, one, two, three percent merchant free attached to it to buy down the rate. So all of that's going to be available to you because we don't believe in just creating something and think it's a one size fits all. We believe that you as a contractor know your market, you know the customers that you service, you know the products that you provide, and you should be able to customize your financing offerings to the needs of your environment and your community. 
So I don't know too many other home improvement financing companies out there that can boast that. But um, we are customizable in pricing down to the contractor level. Pick what works best for you in your market, the competitive environment. And along with that, we'll still offer 6, 12, and 18 month deferred interest options as well. So if someone's got any you guys keep or bonus keep comment, in mind. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mike, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to say, keep in mind, you guys, too, one of the early things that Mike had said when he was talking a little bit about Amerifer's history is they've also got a tremendous amount of tenure in the space. They have a tremendous amount of data. That data alone, you can also rely on that. Aside from having your own industry knowledge of your local areas, et cetera, they got data for days. So you can lean heavily on that knowing that any finance company out there, especially these guys, is going to trust the numbers. So when you look at that, they also have the data to say, hey, we recommend X, Y, and Z. And we even have 90-day uh, deferred uh, interest options at no cost to the contractor. We have a zero merchant 90-day deferred interest program. So that's a huge one as well. But at the end of the day, I mean, we, we want you guys to pick a program, pick a group of programs. Use all 144 if you want or pick five that works best. We're not buying a suit off the rack at JCPenney's. We're, we want to be the tailored suit of the industry and make sure that we fit you the way you want us to fit. All right. And from a reporting perspective, you've got a business to run. You're going to want data. You're going to want to see the things that you want to see. Uh, we'll be able to give you credentials that you can log in and look at your reporting at any time. To You can look at aggregate monthly volume, application quality factors, application volume by, by your locations approval analytics, funding ratios by, by location. I mean, you, you can really cut and slice the data really nicely, and it'll be very, very directional of how you should work and what you should focus on as a business to make sure that you're, you're offering the customers the right products, um, you know, the right programs, that you're focusing your energies on the right location for your company. Uh, all of that stuff will be available to you through our portal. And training. I mean, we're not going to just, you know, ha have you download an app and, and, and leave you out there swimming in the deep end. Uh, we actually uh, provide the onboarding. Once you you apply to be a, an authorized dealer of AmeriFirst Financing through the LEAP program, we will onboard you. We will train you. Um, we will help you set up everything you need to do to know how to use the, the mobile app. Um, we've got technology tools that you could go look at, you know, pre-recorded videos. If you need refresher courses, you're adding new personnel. Um, we have very close and thorough training interaction and, and sales training. We even have feet on the street. If you're a part of a very large organization using LEAP and you have multi-state locations and you have regional meetings, you can let us know. We'll send uh, you know, bodies out. We'll talk. We'll work with your teams and, and get them up and running at maximum efficiency. And then for our existing merchants, people that are already using LEAP, we will also still provide the training. We can do that for individual offices. We can do it through groups. We can do it on a WebEx. Uh, we'll provide coaching. We'll even provide sales closing techniques. Um, you know, we will communicate with the metrics, pipelines, individual transactions, deal follow, anything that you possibly need to close the loop on training to maximize your effectiveness using the LEAP tool in conjunction with finance. We are the experts and we are here to serve you. So no question is too simple or no, no, no question is too difficult. Just give us a call, give us a shout, and we'll take care of it for you. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. And then lastly, talk to us a little bit about this. Uh, if no one recognizes that picture on the right-hand side, that would be the instructions on how to do the Top Gun handshake. So Maverick, take it away. Yeah, I'm I am definitely Goose, who doesn't Maverick. die. How's yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely the Maverick in that scenario right there. <laughs> but now, why do we partner with Leap? I've had the luxury of actually knowing Leap for a few years now, and I've had a chance to work with them in the past, so I got to know them personally. Um, so I like them. I like the guys that I get to work with. I like the team. I know, you know, that their functionality from an integration perspective, everything that you would want in a service platform provider partner, they got it. And I already knew that. But one of the reasons is their technology is the best out there for not just one single uh, home improvement vertical. It, it, it's kind of usable in most. It's one of the best out there for a multitude of home improvement verticals. And it has so many other tools built into it to use that if you decide to add on to your business and you're going to go from fencing to doing fencing and garages, you can use the same tool. 
I mean, it's kind of really slick, and I always love that about it. And <coughs> excuse me, as I mentioned earlier, having it designed by an in-home salesperson who knows what the functionality the contractors want, that's that's the bomb. You know, that's what I think about myself as a financing guy. I know what I needed for 20 years in the home, and I'm sitting across from thousands of people at thousands of kitchens and tables. What I really wish I had, between Leap and Amerifirst, everything that I could ever have dreamed of has been provided. So it's a great partnership. And then the leadership team that I get to work with, they're full of ideas. And, and, and I think you were nice enough to compliment us that we really pushed you to be great, dare to be great, and gave you ideas. But I mean, I, I like to return the compliment. You guys came up with some really great slick stuff as well that's gonna make this really easy for your contractors to jump in feet first and, and hit the ground running. And then again, we also have a lot of the same mutual customers already today. And we, we share in a mutual success. And I thoroughly believe that the 80-20 rule when it comes to service um, software platforms is actually accurate. That if somebody is just using Amerifirst um, and not using Leap, it's an 80-20 rule. You get like 20% of the contractors to sign up that actually use it on a regular basis continuously and helps them grow their business. But when you have a partnership with Leap where they have financing available for you right there, you'll find that your folks in the field will offer it 80% of the time, if not all the time. But it, it, it totally will, will change the way you look at your business and what technology and finance can do for you in growing that business and, and reaching your goals. So, you know, the, part, the partnership with Leap is something that we are extremely excited about. And James, we're so glad that you invited us to this webinar today. Yeah, man. I really appreciate the kind words. So without further ado, folks, again, Merifirst got some pretty cool stuff going on. Um, feel free, again, drop any questions that you have into that question section. I'm going to rip through real fast what the integration looks like. Uh, Leap is a pretty complex tool. It goes without saying, uh, as Mike mentioned, it works in pretty much any vertical you can imagine. We've got literally every facet of home improvement covered, I would say, from like full additions to kitchens, baths, roofs, exterior, windows, doors, siding, you name it, gutters. Some guy tried to use this to sell meat out of the back of his truck. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of crazy stuff that gets used for this. We've done HVAC. We've got a really amazing company using this to uh, sell uh, chimney sweeping services. There's water purification, you name it. So everything is covered. There's a lot of cool stuff. I don't need to go through how every detail of this works. If you want that, I highly recommend take 45 minutes out of your day and just do a demo. When you do the demo, you will know within about five seconds whether or not it's something you can em employ in your own business. But honestly, it's worth it. You'll, you'll honestly be blown away. Um, if not, find me at a trade show and tell me I'm full of crap. Like, by all means, and I'll buy you, I'll buy you lunch. But it's, it's truly one of those tools that, that, that's a game changer. Um, it, it was attractive enough that it made me leave the industries that I was in to come join Home Improvement. It's so cool. Uh, so at a high level, we're talking about the marketing funnel, how everything works, how it goes from a lead coming in all the way through, um, you know, getting this in the hands of your production teams and back for upsell. So when a lead comes in, your leads can seamlessly go from your CRM directly into Leap this would be the view that you get to see. I can click on that little I button that you see there and it can pass over any notes from that call center. So if I don't, um, if I don't give that stuff to my person going into the home or my sales rep going into the home, guess what? That note could be something as simple as don't open the gate, the dog's gonna kill you. Well, you kinda wish they would have that in their hands. It's, that alone is an icebreaker, that alone gives you the details to make it so that you're not having these redundant conversations. That's the difference between a tier one organization and a B-rate organization. All of your resources. Granted, you guys all sell a bunch of different things. You walk into a home carrying a small library of goods, guess what? It's a pain in the butt. You can't stay super organized. And frankly, you hand that to a customer, it's either going to get set next to the toilet and never leave, or it's going to magically disappear in about five seconds. All right, this is just in a way to have digital resources they're all totally polished, high def, reads just like a Kindle. As you go through, we also have digital measuring tools. So when you look at this, sometimes really good salespeople suck at details. They're terrible. 
they might not be able to make those really good measurements. They might not be finite. They might miss stuff. Great. Use tools like Eagle View and Hover, and you can have them seamlessly populate measurements directly into your estimates. From there, boom. Hey, I don't even have to think about these numbers. They're already pre-populated. I can then use my time instead of crawling around on a third story roof and giving somebody a heart attack. Great. I can simply take the time and educate them on where the numbers came from. Someone came into my house the other day because I was trying to get a deck put on and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, you know, you mentioned you wanted to potentially do your window someday. Yeah, sure. Oh, there, you got a double hung over here, case one over there. I'm sitting there going, I have no idea what language you're speaking or what the hell a double hung window is, but cool. And uh, this is just a great opportunity for you to use the thumbnail plus the measurements to explain how you're getting to that endpoint. The more a customer knows, the better you are. The other thing when it comes to financing, Mike said, you got to sell the, the, the payment. You got to sell the dream by making it palatable. You tell someone to pay for a $35,000 job by cutting you a check, terrifying. You tell them, hey, it's only going to be a couple hundred bucks a month. They go, oh, that's not so bad. This is a great way, too, to dumb it down for your sales reps. They might not have ever sold financing. Right? This might be new to your organizations. You can create these really simple buckets to say, hey, let's create these three little sections where all I have to do is say, what does this person want? Do they want to die in the home or do they want to flip it? Cool. If you want to die in the home, let's get you some low monthly payments and stretch this thing out for 15 years. All right. If you want to flip it, cool. Let's do no payments, no interest and bank on you selling this home in the next 60 days. All right, there's a lot of neat things that you can do in Mike's Teams plus Leap. We have the ability to help train you on how to use this stuff and how to employ best practices. The other thing is we got this nifty, handy-dandy little integration with Amerifirst. You guys, this is one of the most technically savvy integrations that we've ever done, especially with a financer. Uh, so again, when you look at this, if I have connectivity, all I have to do is click on that logo for Amerifirst. It takes me straight into their loan portal. I can fill everything out. All that customer's information will already pre-populate into the application. Fill everything out, work alongside with that customer. They do everything they need to do. I hit next, bam, I can get a credit decision in the home. I never have to leave and I know exactly where I stand. Plus, gives that homeowner peace of mind that they know exactly what's coming. You think if somebody applies for credit, they're going to cancel? No. <laughs> no, they won't. So again, lots of really cool things can happen directly with that integration. Let's just say worst case scenario, you're in the middle of friggin' nowhere and you have no connectivity and you can't access that loan portal. Well, guess what? All I have to do is pull up that default credit app. It contains every line item that you need to fill out the Amera First application. That is all password protected and secured. So all I have to do is simply wait till I get back into some sort of connectivity my financing team can get that immediately, process the loan, and within seconds, I can get a decision. Very cool stuff there as well. Moving on, here's my application. Again, like I said, all of that stuff can be passed over. Any one of these sections can be linked. So if you've already filled out on your contracts, the sales amount and the down payment and all those other details that they're gonna be using, and if you use that finance calculator to choose that that's the one that I want, or that's the plan that I want, cool. All of that can be linked directly over. Very cool stuff can come from this application, and when you're done, you get an approval, yay or nay. Moving on, you can take this all the way through a signed contract. So if any of you are using paper for contracts, please question your sanity. Because at the end of the day, that's the one area in which you can cause really expensive mistakes. There's a lot of scary things that can come when you manually adopt practices that are legally binding, all right? You can lock these things up airtight. All of those signatures can be securely captured. The software in Leap can even detect where you are in the country. It can also see, like, let's say you sell over state lines, it can detect whether or not you're in, you're in Maryland or if you're in Virginia or if you're in the District of Columbia. Newsflash, all of those are maybe a mile apart from each other but it can tell based on that zip code which contract I need to use because of the jurisdiction or the legality of that, uh, of that homeowner's uh, address. All of that can be predetermined and that rep doesn't even need to think twice about it. So if you sell in multiple counties with multiple laws, newsflash, you need something. 
The other thing I can do too is you see in there there's that little DocuSign logo. Guess what? If half of that customer's signing um, necessities are there, like if the husband's there but the wife is not, guess what? Have the husband sign and when the wife gets home, she can do her part from her own computer on DocuSign. So you can balance the two of those and have somebody manually sign 50% of it, DocuSign the rest of it. Really super cool stuff. Moving on, all of this can also be connected to your CRM. So when I'm done with that interaction in the home, boom, shoot it back to your CRM by telling them what happened. I sold it, I sold it for this much, and based on the commission calculation, I'm gonna make two grand off of that. Happy day. This is the kind of stuff that you can start handing your production teams, all right? The biggest thing about this is if any of your sales reps manually write down measurements, et cetera, guess what? They probably have worse handwriting than a doctor, right? It's probably chicken scratch and a scribble. And is that a seven or a one? The difference between six square of shingles is a lot of money. So in this, you get digital, uh, digital summaries of the job that was sold plus any other details that you want to see. This can all be customized. Literally everything in this app can be customized, and the same goes with ProCell if you guys are on from ProCell. All right, as you go through, the other thing that you get, and this is where I get really, really, really nerdy, is we can also go back in and tell you exactly what happened in that home. The only way you know what happened when one of your reps goes to run an appointment is if you're standing two feet behind them shadowing the, shadowing the interaction, right? Not only does that make them behave as best as possible, it also makes it really weird for that homeowner. Like imagine, or put yourself back in your shoes if you've ever been to a restaurant and two people walk up to take your order and they go, hi, I'm James. Mike's going to be shadowing me today. I'm new. Mike's been here a long time, so he's going to make sure I don't screw anything up. The first thing you think of is definitely not, oh, yay, I can help train this person. It's they better not bring me the wrong damn drink. I'm thirsty. And where are the apps? So, again, that's the kind of data that you can get. I can see literally every time my rep touched the app. So I can see everything they did from the point they shook their hand and said, hi, I'm James, to the point at which it's been such a pleasure doing business. We'll be out to remeasure your home on Wednesday. <clears throat> Done. Moving on, again, there's a lot of badass things that can come from this. Amera First and Leap, it's really a very cool partnership. I want to open this up to everybody because we're going to be talking Q&A. Um, you know, one of the things that we've actually had written in here throughout, Mike, that I can, can label uh, or, or that I can highlight in here is, is just at a high level, why should someone ditch their current lender to go with you guys? And that question was asked in a couple different ways. So again, that's me paraphrasing, but you know, why should someone go with you guys instead of who they're currently using? Well, I mean, I think we, we covered a lot of really great things. I mean, the fact that we will not just let a customer um, be decisioned electronically, that we will take the time with somebody's really close and we want to help you close the sale. We will manually underwrite regardless of the time of day. We'll take a look at it and see what we can do to help you. We want to close the loan. I mean, we've got, 15 year loans at you know we've got no merchant fees available for you we've got staged funding available for you we've got an easy to use mobile app paperless process instant decisioning um, and we've got the best servicing in the industry so you won't have so many more nuisance calls from your customers those are really the high level gosh the, this company is a little bit different than everybody else and it looks like they're trying to stay ahead of the pack with the things that matter most to me as a contractor because they care so i think that's what really sets us apart Awesome. And then what we can talk about really quickly, um, and if somebody wants to get a hold of a rate sheet, what's the best way? Um, let us know. Um, you have contact information provided in this presentation or that we can provide. There we go. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know more about Amerifirst and you would like some rate sheets, a free demo of our mobile app, uh, please feel free to qu click on the attached link. And if you are just ready to give it a try, because it sounds like the better mousetrap that we say it is, I mean, geez, we come from your industry. We built it, not just Amerifirst, but Leap. Both of us came from the industry. And you want to just go with it? We'll just send you a link to the application today, and you can get started. Yeah, you guys, the easiest way to get a hold of that is just send an email directly to, to me and myself uh, and Michelle. Uh, we actually monitor the info at 
leap to digital.com. Just say, Hey, I love what I saw. Do me a favor, send us an email to that and I'll go ahead and send you that link that Mike put together and you can apply directly to become an AmeriFirst dealer. Again, the integration slick. All you then have to do once you get approved to be a lender is just let us know. You can chat in on our website or just send us an email and we'll get you guys set up. That integration takes literally, I think about 30 seconds to plug in and get running in the field. It's that simple. So with that said, um, if you guys also are not active Leap users and you want to know a little bit more about Leap, go to leaptodigital.com forward slash AmeriFirst. And at that place, or at that, go ahead and request a demo. We'll make sure that we not only get you all the information that you need about Leap, but we'll also focus a little bit more on how you can own that integration in between AmeriFirst and Leap. So by all means, if you need a little bit more or you want more information on becoming a dealer for AmeriFirst, go to www.trustamerifirst.com forward slash AmeriFirst hyphen Leap. And on our end, if you need more information, go to leaptodigital.com forward slash AmeriFirst, and we'll be 100% happy to give you guys a full demo of everything you need in order to decide whether or not Leap should be something you put in your business. So again, thank you so much, Mike, for doing this. Uh, we went a little long on this, I know, but I think there was a tremendous amount of value, especially in the information coming from you guys. I'm long-winded as is. You guys had good wind. So... Again, I'm very happy to uh, to have you on this call and uh, and to hear all the cool things that you guys are doing. Again, if you guys pair those types of products with a tool like Leap, it's a knockout punch. And it's it's seriously one of those where if you see a competitor go into a home behind you, you can confidently know that they're going to blow it and you're not. So, you know, Mike, any parting thoughts for everybody before we call this? No, it's it's kind of ironic that I have a contractor coming to my house right now because my HVAC went out. Uh, uh, so, so judge I, them I, if they're not using Leap. <laughs> if they're not using Leap, I'm going to call them out on it. But you know, it, it's uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm sure since I'm sitting in an 80 degree home right now that this is going to be the highlight of my day. And I really appreciate all of you that decided to attend. It was great, and I really enjoyed it. Nice, and Mike, we actually got one parting uh, one parting question. Someone got it in just under the wire. What's the approval process to become an AmeriFirst dealer? Okay, so you fill out a very simple application. Uh, we can provide that link as, as James has mentioned. It'll take you directly to a landing page that's co-branded AmeriFirst and Leap. And it'll ask you for your basic business information that you would typically send in for um, a, an application to start using a finance company, uh, but not near as lengthy, lengthy and not near as, as difficult and convoluted. Uh, once you hit send on that document, it electronically comes to us into our underwriting department, which does an automated check on the company to make sure that everything is is good to go. It's a it's a viable company up and running. We don't have minimum uh, requirements from annual revenue like most finance companies do. They require you know five hundred thousand, one million, two million dollars a year just to use their financing. We don't. We just want to make sure that you're a legitimate company. You've been doing business and nothing you know pops up on the radar that would give us any reason for pause i think our our turn down rate on dealers nationally is less than three percent so it's really we almost take everybody because we we cut our teeth as a small home improvement company financing company and we've done it really really well for 40 years uh, and now we have the big boys using us too so you know it's really a simple process i think you'll find it very, very simple compared to what you've experienced in the past with other companies. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. So on that note, everybody, we're super pumped about this partnership. AmeriFirst is a badass group of folks and their products just speak for themselves. Really thrilled to have you on today, Mike. Thank you again for taking the time. Hopefully you get your AC cranked up soon enough because it's hot as hell in DC. I can only imagine how hot it is in Chicago right now. If anything, if it gets too hot, just go jump in the lake. That thing's always cold. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Thanks for everything. It was great. No worries. All right. Thank you so much, you guys, for attending. We're going to post this up on YouTube as well. Uh, you'll also get a, an email after this with a recording attached to it so that you can find that link. Any questions that you have, feel free to reach out to us on the screen. You should be able to see it if it will switch. There we go. Uh, you'll be able to send us that that email at info at leaptodigital.com. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys. Bye, everybody.